Hey guys, welcome back to another GIF talk. I'm GIF, I'm your host. Uh, today I am going to be doing my last um, kind of toy media haul of the year, uh, this being the end of 2022. Um, next uh, Sunday is actually going to be the first of this next year. So looking forward to seeing what the next year brings in the way of collectibles and just stuff in general but figured why not i do it um a kind of a last haul this is stuff that i've picked up um some today a bunch of it uh was in the last two weeks that i just haven't shown by the way if you hear some um a little uh, bell or a little bit of meowing my cat is right here and he just you know wants to to be down here it is um I've got the heater going, so it's actually kind of warm, and he likes to be down here, so why not? So let's get started. I'll start with today's hauls and go from there. So the first one is this uh, City Camouflage, um, uh, City Camouflage Celtic uh, Predator from AVP. This is probably one of my uh, favorite. Um, designed for helmet for armor um, he looks beefier he looks bulkier than all the rest of the predators combined this is a little smaller than i normally get normally i like getting the NECA ones um, but there's for this uh, particular figure uh, not even in the camouflage but just for the celtic warrior i think he's like 40 to 70 dollars something i don't have right now um this guy was literally half the price at $20. So I figured why not grab him. I do not have any more of these Hiya, um, H-I-Y-A. I, I don't have any of these, but you know, we'll see how they go, see if they're any good quality. I like the design, and again, it's my favorite predator, so I had to pick it up. Um, so I picked that up. I also picked up the NES Friday the 13th game. Um, it is a little dirty, but it does work. Um, and it just needs a little uh, t uh, tending love or care. So I will be um, fixing that up once I get done with this video and playing it because it does work. It is, uh, uh, from what I saw, it looks very nice, very easy um, to figure it out and all that. I hear the game is insanely hard, so. We'll see how it goes. My NES collection is growing steadily. So, um, also picked up a bunch of books today. Uh, I don't know if you're interested or you care, but these are some pretty cool ones. The first one being H.G. Wells' The Invisible Man. Um, I just love this cover. The local Salvation Army just had carts and carts full of books i went through all five of them and came up with some pretty good ones the first one being this the second one being this the Horrorland um goosebumps books this is the scream of the haunted mask number four this is one i do not have i am going for all the goosebumps books including the very first ones all the way up to this one um or this series which i think is the latest series uh, also picking up some of the Fear Streets if they interest me. So uh, that was the one that I was glad to grab. Uh, this one is called The Killer Slice of Pizza. Now, um, it's not done by anybody I know. Um, obviously, it's a tentacle wrapped around a piece of pizza. But it says, for months after they discover that their new place of employment, Kayla Pizza, is a front for underground monster hunting organization that had me hooked right there i i you know i i had to grab it i had to check it out um it does look to be a teenager book but with me being dyslexic it's very hard for me to read very well um and it takes a lot to interest me monster hunting is obviously a big thing so I figured, why not? Let's give it a try. But, uh, these are going to be a little easier for me to read. 
Um, I was very surprised to get them. I love grabbing these because the subject matter. But these are the uh, children's books. This one is Mask Mission Meteor. Uh, if you if you ever seen uh, mask figures, they kind of look like Transformers and G.I. Joe's had a small baby. And it came out to be the mask toys. And it's just, you know, it's really beautiful. The, the you know, it's hardly got any creases, no stains on it. It's just really really good looking I love these old uh, skinny books you know it doesn't take much to read them and they're very fun to get um, I have one of these already um, but it is a different story this one is Transformers meets the more meets more than the eye and it's Decepticon um, hijack you see uh, Megatron hijacking a fuel truck. Um, they also have three others, which is the uh, battle uh, for Cybertron, the Great Car Rally, and Ascentacon's attack. I believe the one I have is crap. it's not one of these three. It's it's another one. Um, but yeah, I love these ones. I think the other one I have it came with a record. This one did not, so very cool. Um, you know, I like it. And again, it's from 1985, so again, extremely good condition for, you know, being that old. So very cool. Um, the last thing that I can actually physically show you that I got today is this Mad Magazine. Um, it is the 50 worst things about video games. What's number one? You could win a Nintendo DS plus 12 tips and for surviving your parents' divorce and street gangs should you join. I didn't read those. <laughs> yeah, it, again, it looks very beautiful. It has uh, all its inserts and all that. Um, you know, a couple posters that are just really, really cool. Um, you know really happy to have these and this was only a dollar so I, I could not not get it especially because of the subject matter of being mad and video games I really like video games and I like Mad Mag too so uh, I did get two uh, things uh, I ordered two other things one is a promo um, VHS for Diddy Kong Racing um, and I'm looking forward to that that should be coming through eBay pretty soon and then I went through uh, one of my local bookstores, which is called Half Price Bookstore, and got the complete series of um, Street Sharks, the animated cartoon. So that was only like 10 bucks, uh, $12 with shipping. I was gonna have, I did have it shipped to my house. They said it was gonna be more expensive. Turned out they were having a deal. It came out to the same amount as having it shipped to the store. So I'm gonna get it straight home. So that's awesome. I do. I am looking forward to that. So um, another pickup, or I should say at this point, a gift that I got is this Dunk Gong shirt. It's on like Donkey Kong. Uh, my wife got me this. Uh, I did have a shirt that was much like this uh, when we got married. I filled out. It got holes in it and it no longer fits. Um, so she got me a new one. I do appreciate it. Thank you, honey. As always. I, I love you so um, another one is down here this one is one I got at a Goodwill bins it is the nerf uh, Michelangelo uh, gun yeah. it still makes sounds so so very cool happy to get this um, I do have the Raphael um, one and uh, I am looking for the other two that are that goes with this set. So put this down here. All right. So a few other things I picked up. Uh, I went to a local comic book store. I did pick up uh, this. It is the NECA Wolfman uh, Universal Monsters. I do uh, love Universal Monsters. I do have the NECA. Um, 
it's over here. But I do have the Neck of Frankenstein, the Diamond Select um, Mummy, and the Diamond Select um, Creature from the Black Lagoon. I am still looking for a Neca uh, Bride of Frankenstein. But, you know, one figure at a time, that one's going to be a little harder to find. Uh, I don't know why, but she's always been expensive. So, uh, got this one on eBay. It is Gamera. Pretty decent uh, little figure. Um, he does have a little bit of moving joints and all that, but I like how simple the figure is. Uh, I have a Godzilla and I have an Ultraman that are just like that. And if you saw uh, my Instagram page, I did put them together and say that the uh, universe or the Earth's uh, defenders are all together now. Really cool set. Um, they're all pretty much to scale with each other, which is pretty cool. I like that. I really do. Um, this is a, a, another one I picked up today. Uh, the pizza book, um, or the killer pizza book, I actually got with this, and this is the Michael Bay Michelangelo. I got this guy for probably a buck fifty. Um, the book was like 50 cents as well. Um, I do want to get a complete set of the Michael Bay, um, Michael Bay uh, Ninja Turtles because I have the vehicle and I kind of have an idea that I want to do when I get more glass cases is I want to have um, every year of Ninja Turtles have the Ninja Turtle van, whatever they use for that uh, season, and then have the four Ninja Turtles and go throughout the years um, in different cases showing off the Turtles or the four brothers in their vehicle uh, for that year. I'm, I've got most of the vehicles. I have the 2017 one. I have the 2012 2012, 2017, Michael Bay one. Um, and then up here, I have the Rise of the Ninja Turtles. Um, and here, I've got the original. And I want to get the um, animated movie. I know they made one with that uh, the vehicle. Um, but that one's rather hard to find. I don't think I'm going to be able to find that at a Goodwill or whatnot. So, where I, I actually got most of these. So... Uh, where to go? Okay, we'll start with this one. Uh, we'll finish or go with this one. Um, so I went to the Goodwill bins, same place I got the uh, Michelangelo blaster, and found this guy, the Ecto, uh, the Ecto uh, uh, Glow in the Dark Ray uh, from uh, Real Ghostbusters, um, just lying there. I figured why not pick him up in the same bin though I found one two three four five And, whoops, sorry, bezel. And six of the real Ghostbuster ghosts. Um, all in the same bin. I actually checked uh, with um, YHS Podcast um, just to make sure they were all real Ghostbuster, Ghostbuster ghosts. And he said yes, um, so I really do appreciate that. But yeah, they were probably less than two dollars for all one two three four five six and seven you know a, a ghostbuster and some ghosts so really cool glad to have those that does boost my ghostbuster uh collection quite a bit because i didn't have i think i had one i have one of the ghostbusters and only one ghost um I have Venkman, the surprise Venkman, and the, um, oh no, surprise Egon, and then the, um, uh, the uh, toilet ghost. So that was, um, 
one the you know those are the the two that I had I did get the uh, fire station and with that lot I ended up getting some parts for like different vehicles of Ghostbusters um, I did take those in and traded those into a local comic book store for credit just so they could get to where they're going because I'm obviously not gonna you know get the vehicles and all that stuff I'm just looking to get the four Ghostbusters and you know a few of the ghosts to go with the Ghostbuster firehouse so uh, it's still really cool to find I I know that one was those are really harder to find the ecto glow-in-the-dark ones so really cool so I uh, went to um, while working I went to a little town um, to deliver and ended up finding a little mom-and-pop um, thrift store inside of it I had been there once before I knew that they had a Jeffrey the giraffe um, figure and a Catwoman McDonald's figure from way back in the Batman animated series unfortunately they did not have those what they did have was this guy and he is a bubble bath holder so they had like five or six of these um, and I think at least four of these were really in really bad shape but they were for the Batman um, forever one this is the Batman animated he has a little uh, scuffing and a little dust I do need to clean him up but this thing is so cool um, it does say child care or kid care right there it has the you know advertisement or the stuff on the bottom uh, or a little uh, bubble bath um, Bain Mosent 10 fluid ounces so this had 10 fluid ounces of bubble bath in it when it was brand new I picked this up for 50 cents so really happy to get this uh, this has always been uh, my Batman and well Kevin Conroy dying um, kind of felt right just to to bring him home and put him in the monks the collection so glad to have that so those are the ones I are what's uh, what I have left is from a lot of Ninja Turtles that I've got um, I ended up buying the whole thing for, on eBay for like twenty dollars. I had a bunch of stuff that I already had, but I had a few things that I didn't. This is what I kept. Um, I did just sell the rest of it. Uh, they had a lot of the or Bird King, like little suction cup and clip-on toys and all that. I do have all those, although I am looking for one of the it has like turtle shell and it pops up and there's all four of the turtles um, unfortunately mine fell off the shelf and broke so I do need to get one of those again it wasn't in there but I did get these really cool I want to say this one was a candy dispenser yeah but a little Raphael candy dispenser this is uh, Mirage Studio China uh, China made it doesn't say what year but I'm pretty sure it is from the 80s and all that um, and it is authentic so I'm really happy to get that this one um, was also in the same thing little sheriff's badge with Raphael uh, this one also says Mar Mirage Studios on it I believe yeah I don't I don't know what set this was from but it's really cool to have you know now I guess I'm the sheriff of uh, the turtle turtle collection so really cool um, I've been looking for this next piece for a very long time but this is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles original soundtrack on cassette the case is a little beat up right there. It's, it has like plastic broken. It, there you can see scratches up here and up here. But besides that, this thing is clean. It looks beautiful. Um, you know, the paper looks really good. There's no creases, anything like that. And the cassette, there's no mold, nothing. So really good. Glad to have this finally in my collection. 
um, if I get the uh, CD, that will be even better. So, And then, last but definitely not least, I finally got a pencil box. Little damage to the front, but still very cool, still very clean, vibrant colors. Um, you know, maybe just a few like crayon marks or whatnot inside that can be cleaned up. And this thing is just amazing. Like I said, the artwork has a little tearing and and all that, but still really, really good. Very happy with this. Um, like I said, those four pieces along with like 20 others that I did not need came out to be 20 bucks and I just made 10 to, you know, 12 on you know my money back so really this that cost me about seven dollars so really happy to have that well guys that is it for this year that is the last haul that i i will have um i don't actually go back to shopping until tuesday again unless i i ended up hitting that mom and pop store and then i will let you guys know um see if they have anything else good i have found uh, a Goosebump VHS there, that's where I got that uh, wolf, uh, werewolf of the, uh, um, I forget what it's called, the full title, but it's just the werewolf one with the VHS, that's where I got that for 50 cents. I did see they have some Power Rangers, I was thinking about picking up for one of my buddies, I know he's big into Power Rangers, um, but you know, we'll see how the, where they put me and how the weather goes because it all all matters if I'm going to get to go back to that town or not but well guys thank you so much I will be trying to make more videos coming up in this upcoming year gonna have a lot to look forward to um, I think uh, I am going to try to do a uh, what, what movies I'm looking forward to I got to make a list check out what's coming out um, we'll see uh, you know maybe I'll do like a, a ranking system of how how much I care you know or how much I'm looking forward to it or how much I want to see it uh, blah 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 of the movies coming out next year and uh, maybe I'll even do like a top top 10 of the movies that I love from this year because I do get to see a lot although there are still quite a few uh, that I want to see from this year that I just haven't either got around to it or haven't been able to find or haven't had time to watch them so uh, did watch glass onion that was rather uh, good and then i watched um crap there was another one called uh, it was a japanese uh, movie called warriors uh, warriors of future and that one was pretty interesting um you could definitely tell the graphics were were bad but there was a lot of good action, a lot of good creature development, and the story was rather interesting. It kind of reminded me of a story that might be in a Godzilla film. So I am looking forward to that new Godzilla spoiler alert. Uh, I doubt we'll get it the next year, uh, but Toho is coming out with another uh, Godzilla film that is supposed to be released in Japan this year, or next year. I just don't know if we're going to get it here in the States next year so we'll see all right guys well that is it for this year happy uh happy holidays and hopefully you guys have a good year good rest of the year it makes it through without any more you know problems or issues or deaths or anything like that for you guys hopefully it's smooth sailing from here until sunday just have a good day guys i'll talk to you later Bye.